our F five actually came in on her birthday. That was so my it birthday, was her birthday present. present. So technically, it's mine. I made sure everyone knew it was my birthday present for sure, not his, not his gift. I'm Gabe English and I'm the owner of Western Carolina Tool and Mold. We are a plastic injection mold builder. We also do repairs and engineering changes. So we started the process, purchased Western Carolina Tool and Mold in the fall of 2018. Finalizing time came in March of 2020 in the middle of a pandemic. Decided to go forward with it. Closed on the company in June of 2020. A lot of uncertainty and uh, just a lot of faith that it would work out. So far, so good. In the back, past two years, our throughput through here has doubled and we needed to buy a piece of equipment this year. The way that I plan to grow this company is through technology. Whether it's EDM technology, high-speed machining, whatever it may be, if there's a demand for it, we're gonna invest in it. We're gonna go for it. One of the big things for us here is we run a lot of lights out machining. So three or four o'clock in the afternoon when we go home, we typically have three, three to four machines running at nighttime. Sometimes pretty complex, pretty risky parts. The Makino added accuracy, reliability. I have the confidence in this Makino and the accuracy, the rigidity, to leave this thing going at night and, and not worry about it. You see it run versus other things where you're much slower. The time it, it knocks something out, it's just unbelievable. And then even when you step back into finished old pass, it's just, it's just, it's really good how it does things. It's just, the look, the look ahead is really great on that thing. It's just so much better, so much, that machine is so smooth. It runs so much better, so faster. It's just, it's hard to explain how good that, that's, that's probably the nicest machine I have ever been exposed to. Clean grades we can use, the higher RPM we can use. It's just smooth, the things that come off there, it's just, it's just hard to explain. It's, before we could look at something, so that's really nice. You know, we can use that right now the way it is. Now it's even better. And it's hard to look at it and say, how oh, it's just so much better. It's kind of hard to imagine. So with the Makino, the thing that we like about it most is we can go from roughing to finishing instantaneously. So we can stick core and cavity blocks in there, rough them out, then send them to heat treat, come back. And as you see behind me, they're finishing right now. So, so at school, you know, you kind of get fit and finish and it's not very great. They're just good. Yeah, the Makino is just a step up from everything that I've ever done. I never would have sold myself. If you'd had, if you'd have told me six months ago that I'd be running the Makino F5, that I, I would have said, I would have probably laughed in your face and walked away. But it's it's absolutely awesome. The first week I had the machine in and running, we had a very very small issue with the solenoid, and I gave 888 Makino 4 a call at 6 a.m. With my past experience with other other machine tools, you're gonna wait till 10. 11 o'clock here on the East Coast until people get in in Chicago or, or wherever it may be. So at 5 after 6 a.m., I'm on the phone with a tech guy, and by 10 after 6, my machine's back running. I don't know that I've ever seen that kind of service with any other machine. You know, a few times if I've needed something, I've been able to call the Makino helpline. And those folks have helped me. Those have just been minor things that I've had to call about real simple things. So that's been easy. Even like today, you know, where someone from the Kino just pops in with a text and says, hey, is everything going okay? I see that with them, that's a positive thing for us. It keeps things moving forward. And um, that's, that's what business is about, is keeping the business running. Everything from purchasing this machine to the install and then the support afterwards, it's been, I, I, it's been unreal. So we intend on replacing approximately three machines over the next five years. And if I had to do it today, it would all be Makinos. 